Hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you for jumping on. I have a very, very urgent uh, prayer request update I want to share with you. First of all, we made it back from India. Woo! What a crazy, wild, amazing trip. I want to thank um, all of you guys out there for praying for me. First of all, for praying for me and my family. Um, man, I was so sick the last few days I was there. I can't even put it into words. Haven't, haven't been that sick in a long time. And so many of you guys prayed and reached out and, and we made it and God showed up. And I can't wait to share more about that trip and more updates. So many miracles, signs and wonders. It really is a revival season uh, across the world right now. Um, maybe unlike we've seen in our lifetime. Um, But I I wanted to come on here with something very urgent, and I'm not going to take a long time, but please listen and please share this. Um, I got back really late last night after traveling home almost 40 hours and immediately got a call from our team on the ground in Turkey. And, uh, you know, we have uh, I have a a missions movement called Light a Candle. And this was a a movement that was started uh, literally to bring light to dark places. We have a crisis uh, response team um, on the ground in Turkey right now. We're one of the few organizations that were, it was able to mobilize last minute. We have a team of 12 incredible people from across the world, many different nations represented, uh, ex-military, first responders, worship leaders, uh, therapists, incredible people. And they're, they're there right now. However, the situation is crazy. And I don't know if you guys have been following this, but there's over 50,000 people now that have died. They're expecting that number could surpass 100,000. They're still finding people in the rubble, um, still searching for survivors. It is total devastation beyond what you can imagine. And um, God has our team there right in the midst of it. However, they're, they're almost their second or third night there just a few nights ago, uh, there was a massive aftershock. And normally aftershocks are, you know, supposed to be smaller, uh, kind of can feel them a little bit. However, this one was a 6.3 aftershock, which is just a full-blown earthquake. And so our team was uh, in, in a building staying, and obviously everything began to shake. People began, began traumatized. They're running around screaming, and our team is in the middle of all this. Um, thankfully, they're all okay. They're all safe, but they're sleeping in cars right now. They're sleeping in tents. It's below freezing. They haven't had showers in, in many days. Uh, they have to, uh, everything, there's no power, there's no electricity, um, and they have to even drive three hours away just to get food uh, or petrol for the car. I mean, it is absolutely like a war zone. Um, and so uh, right now, today, uh, not only are they dealing with those situations, but today they, they were able to mobilize a rapid response assembly line of aid, which is just incredible. And I just want to thank so many of you people out there that have donated uh, and, and helped. We've raised well over $70,000 right now. Um, we're hoping to raise a lot more. Um, and we're meeting these urgent needs right now. Um, the issue is not even just finding people in the, in the pile of rubble and survivors, but it's the survivors actually surviving. That's the big problem right now is they don't have food, they don't have water, they don't have shelter. I mean, it's just brutal. So our team is out there in the middle of it and um, they're collaborating with all different organizations. Everyone is throwing in together. They're working with Operation Blessings, Samaritan's Purse, anybody that's there. Uh, there's very few people there, but anybody that's there, they're working together. Uh, and, and it's just, it's like a book of Acts situation where they're all just throwing in together to help. Um, They have an ambulance there that they're working with right now. They're seeing 100 patients a day out of even just one ambulance, handing out food bags. If you go to Light a Candle, our our handle on Instagram, you can see the video that they just posted today uh, showing the massive line that's waiting for the uh, for the aid packages that they're putting together there. Our team stayed up all day and night uh, putting together a thousand aid packages from sourcing material from all over the country. I mean, these guys are absolute heroes. What they're dealing with right now is crazy. And so they're distributing it. You can see the line that's, that's wrapped around this building and there's just so much need. Um, and my primary purpose to come on here is not to ask for donations. I mean, if you wanna give, that's amazing. You can always do that. It's to ask for prayer. We really need prayer. And, and, and I want to ask you, please, today, take five minutes, take 10 minutes. 
gather your church together. Do something and respond in prayer. I, I love this revival season that we're in. I believe it's only increasing. It's only growing. There's been so many people that have been planting the seeds of revival. We've gone back and forth across America for three years. Uh, so many people have been worshiping and, and, and it's a season now where there's a harvest coming. And right now in the darkest, most horrible situation that we've seen, the most devastation we've seen in our lifetime, there's also a harvest of souls. There's a harvest that's waiting right now. People are traumatized. Our team is, is, is having to shelf their own trauma of, of going through this aftershock to meet the needs of the people there. So I want to, uh, I just want to, there's a few prayer points that I just want to give you. And if you could just share this video with people, please share it with people so that they can pray. We need an army of prayer warriors right now. Uh, the first thing is we need breakthrough on, on how to get all of our money over there. The banks are closed. ATMs are destroyed. Um, MoneyGram and, uh, and uh, Western Union have really blocked a lot of the, of, this, of the money coming over because there's so many scams with disasters like this. People try to take advantage of it. So we're having a hard time getting all the funds over. We've got about half of, half of the funds over, which is great, uh, but we're trying to get the rest over and we're having a difficult time finding ways to do that. Uh, wires aren't working. Uh, our traditional ways of doing this are not working because there's no infrastructure across these regions. And by the way, uh, this region is Antakya, where our team is, which is ancient Antioch. And if you want to read Antioch and the significance of that in scripture, you can. It's, it's, it's pretty wild that that's the exact place where they're at right now. Um, so please uh, pray, pray that we can get all of our resources and funds over. Pray that they would have God encounters with people, right? Pray that God would show up in, in, in signs and wonders, that he would bring them to the right people, that they would meet the men of peace, men and women of peace. Um, pray for safety for our team, uh, that they would stay safe and healthy. As I mentioned, they're, they're not sleeping in structures. So the structures are destroyed, guys. They're literally camping in tents. They're sleeping in cars. It's below freezing. There is no showers. There is no electricity. I mean, this is so hardcore. And I just want to praise our team. Our team over there are amazing. We love you guys. We're praying for you guys. Um, pray for grace and strength. Pray that God would bring about divine redemption in this situation. As I mentioned, I'm a revival person. I love revival, right? I love pressing into the presence of God. I love worship. I love prayer. I love all that. But listen, it has to translate. At some point, it has to translate beyond just a holy huddle, and it has to go out to the earth. It has to become the great commissioning. We have to be the hands and feet of Jesus, and we have a team right now in Turkey and Syria that is doing just that. So please, I just wanna encourage you, can you pray today? Take five minutes, take 10 minutes, pray. If you feel led to donate, that's awesome. Um, if you wanna find more about our missions movement, you can go to lightacandle.global. Uh, we are just coming back from, uh, obviously coming back from India, from an incredible trip there. You know, uh, we have 1,100 kids sponsored, 1,200 kids sponsored, I think now, rescued from temple prostitution and re rescued from child trafficking and so many things. We have mission trips going around the world. This is truly a season of the great commissioning and the harvest of souls. However, the urgent need right now is for our team in Turkey and Syria. So please pray for them. I'll share more updates to come. God bless you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so amazing and for praying today. I'm gonna be praying, I'm gonna be fasting, we're gonna be standing for our team and I'll give you more updates. Follow Light a Candle. If you go to at Light a Candle, I think it's Light a Candle Global, um, I'll post it below, but follow our Instagram and our Facebook if you wanna find out more details moving forward. God bless you guys.